Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in the kitchen because I'm cooking and I know this is a very, very, very strange angle and that is because my treble is too short for me to be standing up. Yay! <laughs> okay, so today I am going to be making a lasagna and it's very cheap, very easy and it gives you a lot of portions. So I figured I would film a video of it so that you can make it too because as you know I'm a university student and this year I'm going to make a much bigger effort to cook regularly and healthily and um, eat more at home. So this is a good start because this gives me a lot of portions that are easy to warm up. What I'll be doing after I've eaten uh, tonight, I'll stick remaining portions in these plastic tubs that I just got from Pantland. There's eight in them and then I'm going to freeze them down and when I want to eat them I can just stick them in a microwave because apparently these are microwave proof containers which is good. For this recipe you will need a large baking tray that you can put your lasagna in. Lasagna sheets, these are Morrison's own brand that we had left over from the previous time. Pasta sauce of your choice, we've got bolognese, some bechamel sauce, minced meat, diced carrot and swede, an onion, a little bit of garlic, and mozzarella cheese. First of all, I'm going to be chopping this onion. So, I'm just going to take off the outer layer. Okay, and this I think I've seen Jamie Oliver do once, but basically you just chop the onion in half. In it, they take one half and you sort of slice it, but not all the way to the end. And then you do the same horizontally. And you chop it. of garlic and chop them up. I would use a uh, garlic press thing but I don't have one so she's gonna be chopping. Now in this pan I've got some oil and the onion and I'm just going to saute them in a bit. I'll be adding the garlic and then I'll add the meat and a bit of seasoning before we're going to mix it all together with the sauce and the carrot and sweet. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. the carrot and sweet is, is I feel like a bit of an unconventional vegetable to put in a lasagna but this is the way we've done it for our Christmas dinner last year and it worked so I'm just going to do that because in the UK they don't really have any bags of veg that is like destined to be in a pasta or whatever so this is how we're going to roll with it. I'm going to add the pasta sauce. I'll start with one. I'll probably add this one as well. I probably should have had a bigger pan, but I don't. Yeah, we're definitely going to use the other one as well. Also adding a tiny bit of water. The time has come to put the lasagna in the dish. I am going to preheat the oven at Five, because we have a gas oven and I think that's about 180 degrees Celsius, somewhere between five and six I'm going to put it. And I'm just going to put the lasagna shoots in the dish. Put 
going to add our shredded mozzarella. This bit might look a bit funny because this bit has come out of the freezer. So that is the lasagna done for now. So I'm just going to stick it in the oven for about 13 minutes and then see how it's doing and if I like what I see. I'll take it out and eat it. divide this into eight different portions and then just have some salad vegetables with it. I'm going to put the seven other portions in some plastic containers and put them in the freezer and then I can have them whenever I want. So that is how you make lasagna a la Crista. Hey! <laughs> um, for those of you that are interested, I'll be leaving uh, some calculations down below that will tell you how much each portion costs uh, because you know, if you're a student, that's something you might be interested in, and this really wasn't that expensive. I mean, it would have been less expensive if, if it hadn't been full of meat and cheese, but I like those in my lasagna, so I'm willing to sacrifice a few pennies. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again very soon.